Wow. Now that's nice right there. Let's get it. Guys, what's happening? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's doing well. So my name is Luke and this video is brought to you by one of my official sponsors, XK Glow. I know you guys seen them before, heard of them, seen them on YouTube, Instagram and such. They make really, really, really good products. And until today, I didn't know they had like probably one of the best apps out there for lighting. It's it's pretty freaking cool. I'll show you in I'll show you later on at the end of the video. But anyway, this is app controlled interior car bulbs. So in the Subaru, we have map and dome lights. So we got our map lights over here, as you guys saw from the intro, and we got the dome light, okay? Now, in the box, you have your XK ball panel. This is universal for universal fitment, and you have three adapters, a 3M strip, and some instructions. These adapters are what's important. This is the one that we're gonna be using right here because my map and dome lights take a Festune type bulb. Okay, this is universal. This expands from 29 to 44 millimeters. This is a BA9S adapter right here. And this is a T10 adapter like for my trunk. Okay, this is actually pretty cool. So anyway, these I'm not gonna be using, the 3M I'm not gonna be using. This is what we need to concentrate on. What you're gonna need for this install is maybe a pry tool or a flathead screwdriver and some tape. I'm gonna put up a time lapse right here. When I did the front, I just used the tape to hold down this ball panel, and but the fitment is pretty damn good. And everything works. You don't have to worry about being polarity sensitive to be switching terminals or anything like that. So what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna install the rear. All right guys, hopefully it's not too dark. So you wanna take your pry tool or your flathead screwdriver. And this rear, it's a very, very, very delicate piece. And I'll tell you why. If you just put your screwdriver in here, it, you actually put it too far where you actually prying behind the plastic where this plexi meets the plastic. You have to go like right in between. It's so weird how they made this, but they made it, they made it in a way where you have to be very, very careful how you're doing this. Otherwise, you're not going to get it right. You're not going to open it right. You're going to end up breaking it and then you're going to be freaking pissed. and let me show you what I mean that's exactly what I'm talking about if you poke the screwdriver up here you already went too far you have to get it right in between the glass and this this plexi and the plastic and there you go what I'm so what I'm showing is if you poke it you're already behind this and you're not either it's gonna be you're gonna end up breaking it so you have to be very, very careful. It's a very thin sandwich, so to speak. All right, guys. So once you get that out, you just pop out the Festune. Just be careful. Let's make sure you turn this off before if you're taking out a halogen or whatever, because this these will tend to get kind of hot. So just be careful. The Festune bulb, it literally, it's spring-loaded, so it retracts. So just pop that bad boy in. So this is their medium for the bulb to get constant power. So you can use the app to turn off the bulbs or whatever. Let's say you have your door open. And believe me when I tell you, I put some tape on the back of the ones in the front. It does not get hot like how, like what you think. The, and also the back of it is plastic as well. So you don't have to worry about it burning through the tape or anything like that. So now, once you get that done, just put, insert the pins in there. And there you go. That's it. It works. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use some tape and fasten the bulb to the plexi because what's going to happen is it's probably going to move. Yeah, it's going to, it's going to, it's definitely going to move with the wire. So I don't want that. So let me just button this up real quick and we will jump to the app functionality with that end of video. Okay. So stay tuned.
All right, guys, hopefully it's not too dark. This is just gonna be a quick screen recording of the app functionality. Guys, this is a really advanced app, one of the most advanced I've seen in a long time, especially when it comes to Bluetooth controlling like lights and stuff like that. Uh, most of them are pretty basic, um, but this is pretty damn good. And for instance, each bulb has to be paired individually. You can have multiple things attached to this one app and you can control them individually by zone. Each bulb has their own Bluetooth signal. Okay, so once you download the app, open it, and it'll probably take you to this screen. I have my phone on airplane mode right now, so obviously I'm not getting any network. I don't want any disturbances while I'm doing this for you guys. So you go to palette on the lower left-hand corner, okay? Now, to pair one of the bulbs, you gotta click on this hamburger menu on the upper right-hand corner, okay? And you have to turn it on. Turn one of them on. As soon as I turn it on, it popped up. Tap to pair. Click to pair it. Controller has been paired. It's actually pretty damn fast too. Please check applicable laws, blah, blah, blah. Obviously you have to click I understand because they don't want you driving around with this stuff, like strobing and stuff like that. That's illegal. This is for show. You know what I'm saying? Now, I named it already. I'll show you how to name it. You click right here on that uh, signal menu and you just tap right here and you can name it, okay? And when you're done, hit save and you're good. So that's map one. See, it's solid on right now, okay? This is, notice, this is, it says one, this is for zone one, okay? Now, obviously, you can have it over here as a white light, you know what I mean? Or, you know what I mean, you can move this around and do whatever you want. Or it can do it for you automatically. So now we see it's solid on over here. You can scroll this to breathe. And this right here controls the speed. So let's lower it a little bit. And that's how it breathes. Let's speed it up. There you go. Now, click on RGB. There we go. Now, this cool looking gecko over here or whatever this is, this right here, when you click on it, It'll allow you to take pictures. So I'm guessing when you, yep, when it scans something, it'll start doing it with that color. Yo, and it's actually really, really, really accurate. Like, the red is like super accurate. Wow. Like super accurate, wow. This is really good, like really, really good. So let's get out of here real quick. So now, it's uh, now you could put it on strobe as well. I hate strobe, I, I always like breathe, okay? So now, let's turn on the second bulb. Let's go on this app real quick, and there we go. It popped up already, it says tap to pair. When it pairs, it is already paired. Congratulations, really good, click on understand and it's already labeled map two. So now when you come to your main screen, there's a two and a one, okay? If I turn on the back one, that'll show three. So, so now let's go into here real quick. There's a bunch of different themes, Christmas joy, and it moves on and on with the pattern that you're seeing right here, like emergency strobe. That is, wow, that's nuts. Um, ocean breeze. Tropical Island, I like that, that's pretty cool. Valentine, you guys get what I'm saying? This is pretty cool. Now, they even have music. So, choose while only using the app, okay? When you click on play, it'll say add new song. I wanna try to pick one so I don't get a copyright strike. Okay, look at this one. Hit add. Play. That's pretty damn good. 
It's literally moving. I'm telling you right now, I have other things on this car that can do that. And this is by far the most accurate one. That's bananas. There's also, if you notice, there's a little up to the upper left-hand corner, there's that little music symbol, that treble clef. Now there's a little microphone. If you tap the microphone and now it's listening to me record, and this is a sensitivity bar right here. You can scroll and it's pretty damn, look at it. It's going in time with my voice. That's bananas. That's pretty freaking cool. Okay. And there's one for motion as well. You guys can play around with that, but honestly, this is really freaking cool. Now guys, I'll tell you this right now. If you turn it off and turn it back on, the lights are gonna go back to the same settings you were operating it within the app right before you turned it off. So make sure and leave it on white light. And as I said, you can control each zone individually. Like for instance, like zone one, I can put it to strobe and zone two, it's on breathe. Or I could pull it out solid on. You see what I'm saying? So this this is pretty damn cool, man. This is this is so cool. Really cool app. Gotta gotta give it to you, XK Glow. Guys, definitely like, subscribe, comment, check out XK Glow's website. They got so much cool stuff on here. You can't beat it, man. You can't beat it. You know what I'm saying? XK Glow, thank you so much for sending me this stuff. Guys, take it easy.